Okay, so this is the a laptop, Microsoft Surface laptop, generation one. So we're going to do some interesting test on this laptop. So first of all, I'm going to shut it down, power it off. So apparently it's running Windows 10. So I'm going to turn it off. Now, okay, I will take this USB out. You are thinking this USB is kind of external storage, but actually you will see what's happening here. So this surface, this is the surface. Surface laptop got the, actually got the storage drive error message, okay? So this one, you see here, this is the logo. It couldn't boot Windows. Look at this. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. So this is the one. Error message indicating the hard drive issue here. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it off. Okay, it's off now. So I'm getting this uh, external USB drive. So, yeah. You will see I'm going to plug it in. This is a Type A, they call it Type A USB drive. So here you go. So I'm put, put it here beside, you can see the light is blinking, okay. So I'm going to boot it again. Let's change the lighting here. You can see it's blinking now. So it's reading the system from the USB drive. So you can count how many seconds it will boot. From my calculation, it's about 20 seconds, I guess. Okay. So, okay, it's booted. So now we are going to do a couple of checking. So apparently the screen is working. So we can bring up. So it's a responsive. Let's check here. This is the, we can see this one got the Windows 10 Pro. Okay, we will see the screen now. Okay, the 10 Pro and uh, we can see the Drive, uh, let's see the drive. Put the drive beside here, so you can see it. Okay, so other than that, we will see the device manager to see. So manage. So all the drive, they're all lo loaded, all the driver, that all the driver loaded. So now we're going to do a disk benchmark. So yeah, guess what? You can guess how fast this USB drive on this Windows system. Yeah, your guess? Okay, this is based on this one is a SSD drive inside. So this is the USB 3. Okay, we got some idea now. So the read. Okay, you can fast forward my video at this point, but uh, I need to leave the run till it finish to move to the next lab. Uh, I'm kind of lazy, I don't want to cut my video. Just let it go.
Okay, we can see the numbers now. Basically, read and write is close to 220, more than 220 meg megabit per second. So it's a pretty nice speed, actually. Even uh, if you plug it into the internal SATA piece inside of the computer, probably you will get maybe around 300 to 500, depending is on the model of your SSD. But this one on USB got 220, so... And comparing the legacy computer with the spinning hard drive, usually those hard drive got 80 megabit per second only, 80 to 100 around this range, right? So those uh, spin hard drive dominate the market for quite a long time, years people use it the SSD just recently introduced into the market so yeah it's uh, kind of the at least a double speed of the compared to the traditional hard drive okay let's uh, launch the task manager now you can see performance launching so here's the cpu 7200u memory 8 gig disk right now is 100 percent usage because we are doing the benchmarking okay so anyway it's finished so we can move to the next test actually what i'm going to do is uh, Okay, it's, fi it's finished. This is the final result. We will take the... Uh, mark I want to do is the user benchmark. Let's see this one. How close to a computer, to other computer with a similar configuration. I guess the only bottleneck would be this drive, a USB drive, because on a regular computer, this drive should be like 300 to 500 megabyte per second. But I want to see, is this hard drive will impact the performance of the other component? For example, CPU, memory, and uh, GPU, yeah. This is what I'm trying to find out. We can see here, it's also doing the benchmark of the hard drive. It's 200 Mac. <clears throat> so it's doing a GPU benchmarking now. Okay, here's the final result. Okay, you can see this is a performance result excluding SSD. So, I don't know. It's, uh, it seems not completed because the SSD issue. But we can see those performance. Okay, if it's on the average, but this one is above average, right? 75%. 75%, that means CPU is running good. 
memory. Yeah, it's also. So this, uh, for sure, this one is the SSD. You can see it's detect. Actually, it's detected. This one is running on the USB three. Okay, I assume maybe USB three point one will be a little bit better, but it's, it says this speed is outstanding on USB three. And this is your memory performance. Okay, anyway, even this major component, they're all in good status. So now it's doing some internet testing now, speed test. Okay, speed test, let's go. Okay, we can see the internet. The, that means the Wi-Fi adapter driver is working well, right? It's working correct. Just the boot to the highest speed. Okay. Yeah, and the uploading is also good. Okay, I'm going to visit another website. This is a result of the speed. Let's do some web browsing, so it's opening this page. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, scrolling down. Yeah, this is regular. So we can, we can play some, okay, some news. Okay, let's see. So much for joining us, whether you're watching on TV or online. It's great to be with you on Farah Nasser. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is set to provide his daily COVID-19 address from outside Rideau Cottage any moment now. Yes, yeah, so basically audio apparently is working, so we can play this video, right? So relatively um, delayed so response to their demand as it compares to let's say, put it the f on full full screen okay urban playing is a direct reflection of the so of yeah this uh, let's do high of oh, this support for your government in the prairie provinces can you address that we move forward uh, yeah. initially with Good. supports for workers in all industries across the country. Uh, we, with the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, uh, with the wage subsidy, uh, with measures to support small businesses. Uh, yeah, no, no issue to play in those videos, online videos, for sure. Switching between videos, apparently it's working well. We can open in more, open more tab. tab. Yeah, it's uh, responsive. Playing videos. Yeah, it's running. Okay. So I guess you can see. Okay. Yeah, and uh, close. Close all. Yeah, we can see this is the drive. 240 gigabit. So then turn it off. 
You can count how many seconds it will be off. Okay, that's all the video. Thanks for watching.